In this video, I'm going to show you a really quick way to actually fetch data from an API endpoint and bring it into Airtable using Data Fetcher. The context of this one is going to be in relation to job information to populate a job board. Should need about five to ten minutes. And when you're ready, let's dive in. Okay, the first thing that you want to do once you've got a new Airtable opened up is actually remove some of these fields. So we're going to remove notes, and remove attachments, and we're going to remove status. These are the sort of things that you start with with every new base. And you can see at the top we're going to be referencing some job board information and making an API request to actually fetch some jobs. So to do this, the easiest way is to go over to apps, press install an app, look for an app called data fetcher and open it up and basically data fetcher lets you easily make api requests without leaving airtable so you can obviously get all the features expected from making api requests and there's also a pro version in here so you can actually pull it in regularly on a schedule but let's go ahead and install this and once installed you're going to have to log in press sign in and select an account active if you haven't got an account make sure you sign up to start with then when you get to this screen, we're going to want to press create request and you should have this create a request screen in front of you. So we are going to name this request fetch jobs. We're going to leave it as a get request. And then we actually need to enter a request URL in here. Now there is one uh, remote job board. So you can find requests anywhere or API endpoints anywhere to actually fetch information. But the site remotive.io is a remote working job board which also has an API endpoint. So let's go ahead and we'll use this one as the example. Copy your link and then add it into the request URL. You can see remotive.io slash API slash remote jobs and the category is software development. Next, you're gonna to want to select your output table and we're gonna select table one because that is the name of our table with an air table. And also you wanna select your output view, which is gonna be our grid view. We're gonna leave it as update because you wanna make sure that every time we call it, it actually updates it. But also you could choose append or overwrite depending on what you wanna do. And notice that we can now run this. Also worth mentioning, if you did wanna run this on a schedule, then data fetcher gives you the opportunity to upgrade um, and then set your schedule to run it. There is also some more advanced options here as well. But for this, let's press save and then let's press run. The first time we run this, it's going to actually give us a warning running an update could delete or change base data we'll press run anyway but the first time we run it it's going to actually create us some fields and actually add the names of the fields that we need into our Airtable base and then go ahead and create these records for us so don't worry if you think you have to actually go ahead and create those headers and correctly name them adding pulling in a request like this Airtable will actually just go and do that for you so once it's stopped, you can see down here we have 399 records. So let's close this out. Let's go ahead and close this app block here. And you can see we've actually gone ahead and fetched a load of information. So we have jobs URL, a jobs ID, jobs title, jobs category, jobs type, jobs publication date, location, salary information if it's there, and also a job description in wrapped in HTML tags. If you did want to actually pull that out and format it in a way you could do, and then also some tags as well. Scrolling down, you can see we've got a ton of jobs to work with, and this is a good starting point to say, maybe going and creating your own job board or aggregating data from different job boards, pulling it into our table and doing it that way. Obviously, there's a bit of formatting to do here in terms of removing the names, removing the job count. Let's actually delete the job count, or you can actually hide it. Let's hide the legal notice and there we go. I hope that's useful. That's a quick tutorial on how to use the Data Fetcher API in the simplest format. Um, but be sure to play around with it. It's a super useful tool to actually get information from an endpoint into your Airtable in a really raw way.